Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you how to make a background transparent in Photoshop. It's a really simple process, so let's get right to the tutorial. I will be using two examples for this video. I'm going to be using one example of these apples that already have a white background, and I'm going to be using another example of this orange that has this, uh, this wood-looking background. Okay, so this one has a very simple background, and this has a much more complex background. Let's start off with the simple background one. So the first thing that you want to do is make sure that your the layer that you're working with is not locked. I'm working with the background layer and it's currently locked, so I'm just going to click this to unlock it, just like that. All right. Now, if your uh, if your object has a very simple background, a background that is just basically one color like this, you can go ahead and use the magic wand tool to select the background. So I just have the magic wand tool right here. I'm going to click on the background. Then all I have to do is click delete. So I'm going to click delete on my keyboard and boom it's that easy that is literally if your object that is literally how easy it is if your object has a white background or a simple background you can just use the magic wand tool to select the areas of the background or the area of the background and then click delete on your keyboard okay let's move on to the second example if your object has a more complex background then you're going to want to select the object itself and then invert the selection so we're just going to use the quick selection tool right over here we're going to select the object itself which is the orange let's just go ahead and I'm just dragging around just like this to select the orange now it doesn't have to be perfect because you can always touch it up after but now that uh, I've selected the orange I'm going to invert the selection so I'm going to go to the select menu up here and then I'm going to go to inverse and now it has inverted the selection and selected only the background and not the orange now uh, I did forget to unlock the layer but I can still do it now so I'm just going to make sure that it's unlocked just like that and once again we have only the background selected so all that I have to do is click the delete button on my keyboard and there you go transparent background now um, if you take a look right over here there's just a little imperfection and if you're you know doing this quickly you'll end up with a few small imperfections so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click the eraser tool I'm gonna zoom in right here and we're just gonna touch it up now once again you don't have to do this you can leave it like this or you can take a little bit longer to make the selection to just you know make the selection as as nicely as you can uh, but I just did a, a relatively quick job so I'm just gonna go ahead and touch this up over here that looks okay that looks okay like I said you can literally take a long time making the perfect selection um, but I was just you know trying to get to the point of this video which is basically how to um, make a background transparent so once again you can take your time and touch everything up to make it look perfect but as you can see right here I have shown you how to make the background transparent when you have a complex background and also when you have a simple background and that's all I have for you today thanks for watching